Hey, what's up guys, Aiden here. Today we're having a look at Jonathan Haggerty. Jonathan Haggerty is a Muay Thai fighter fighting out of London. He's an absolute phenom, phenom, however you want to say it. Yeah, he's just a beast at the moment. He's fighting over in one FC. And um, yeah, after this video, do go check out his fights. For those of you who haven't seen his fights and do like stand-up fighting, or if you like MMA and you like, you like a good scrap, it's definitely worth watching out this and checking out this guy's fights he's uh yeah he's absolutely brilliant technically very sound very very aggressive as well and he's just willing to bang man he's willing to throw down as are all of these muay thai fighters to be honest like it's just in that culture right just i remember training at muay thai last year it was just an absolute every time we spar and people just bring the heat and bring the heat like they are just so focused all the time and Jonathan Haggerty is a prime example of this fighting out of London he's 25 years old right in the prime of his career fighting over in one FC which is I think the biggest is it the biggest MMA organization over in that sort of part of the world um, I think it is they got DJ again they got Demetrius Johnson fighting against uh, Rod Tang at the end of this month so that's going to be a huge fight and I think Jonathan Haggerty had a fight scheduled but due to COVID I think his opponent uh, I think it got cancelled due to that so let's see when his next fight's going to be it was going to be in May I believe he's, he's he's on a free winning streak from his recent ones and before that he was just literally tearing up everyone until he ran into Rod Tang and Rod Tang is the Mike Tyson Muay Thai so you know it's no shame in losing to Rod Tang and to be able to go the rounds with Rod Tang it just shows how good this guy is and you know he's still early in his career let's be honest 25 years old and he's you know he's a beast and he's in the prime of his time I think I think he's gonna do well I think he's got a great career ahead of him over in 1FC and yeah I'm gonna be checking out all of his fights and I do recommend that you guys do as well jumping back to this tutorial we're looking at the tattoo section now so basically these are yeah I actually messed up the audio I didn't record it the first time so I'm dubbing over it so we're doing animals number seven as the eyebrow tattoos and you can rescale it with L1 and right stick and then uh, yeah, we're just using that to fill in the eyebrows. And the first layer actually was just to add a little bit of grit to his face. You don't have to do that a bit. Beyond that, we're gonna jump into now the eye shaders, shapes number nine, which is an upside down circle with a little bit of fade to it and press left on the D-pad to fade it. And that's gonna give the eyes a little bit more depth to them, a little bit of shading. It just makes it look that little bit better. And then the next step, you can skip if you want, but if you wanna add in, uh, it's not dimples, freckles, that's the word, then go clever font number nine. Yours is gonna start off as the letter I and you're gonna hold L1 and right stick you're gonna hold the right stick all the way to the right until you get to about the same size I have mine and press down on your left D-pad, down on the left D-pad, bring it up to the face, hold left on your left D-pad to fade it in. Don't fade it in all the way, fade it about half, more than halfway. And then when you're ready, just drop it on there and then make a copy of it by pressing the left stick in, your left D-pad, a uh, left stick, sorry, left, left stick in, will make a copy of it and just go around the face and just drop it on different places until you get to about 30 of them or so. I think I put about 30 of them. I messed up a bit there, as you can see, 28. I, I should have been clever with font number nine because I was doing it too quickly, but just make sure they're all the same, basically, all the way up. And then, uh, yeah, that will give them the freckles. You can skip this step, obviously. You don't have to add the freckles. The most important one is the eyebrows and obviously the body tattoo and I'd say um, the facial hair as well. For the body tattoo, if you want to be lazy, you can go text number eight king of kings rotate it using r2 and l2 and scale it down l1 and right stick put it right above his uh yeah right where it is on the screen as you see and then if you want to do it the actual um more accurate way i've just put the tattoo up on the screen so i'm going to use charlemagne font you can use that one and um while I was doing the video, I didn't have the tattoo in front of me, silly, you know, that was a bit silly. But um, yeah, just copy what you got on the screen. It's X V I V I L X X, and then I think it's uh, I I I looks like. So once you've once you've got that shape right, then uh, yeah, you should be able to put it and try and make it as small as you can. I'm doing that by holding L1 and right stick, making it wide, and then pressing down on the D-pad again to bring it into a smaller size, not too small, so that it's visible but also you don't want it too big and you can see me here just playing around with it and you guys are probably gonna have to play around with it a bit as well to get it to the right size. And then once you're done, just place it, make a copy by pressing left stick in, go on to the next letter. And let's see if I can do, I was just doing it off memory at this point. Let's see if I got it right. Yeah, XVI, I knew it. Did I go for a V after that? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, I did, I did. I must have just remembered off the top of my head. That's cool. So anyway, you can go through like that and add that tattoo like that. I'm just gonna add the other tattoo back. And then uh, we'll carry on with the next section, which is going to be the facial hair, 
which is um, just, it's already there anyway from the one that we selected. And obviously you can choose a different facial hair if you want or have no facial hair. Um, I'll leave that up to you guys. But if you use the same one that I've used, then you can fill in the bottom bit with animals number eight, as you can see it. And you want to fade it in with a D-pad by pressing left on the D-pad a bit, fade that one in. And there you go. Next up, Mythos font number nine, we're using these on the eyebrows again to add uh, more filler to them, um, a bit more, uh, I guess, yeah, just so they're more filled in, so they're thicker, so they jump out from the face and give them a little bit more, makes it look a bit more like him. Mythos font number nine, going across both eyebrows. Don't have to do exactly the same as mine, just make sure that they're not too high up on his face. And then, yeah, that's it, that's a wrap. I don't have the Muay Thai gear on this because I'm using my Xbox account rather than the PlayStation one, which is my main. So for the mouth guard, I went for the UK mouth guard. And then for the shorts, yeah, you can just go for the default ones if you don't want to give EA your money, I guess. And uh, or if you do want to, or if you do have coins, if you have some coins floating about in your account, you could go for one of the Muay Thai ones. Uh, the red one, I think I end up looking at, yeah. And I got to it now, yeah, Dragon Red, that's the one. You could go for Dragon Red. And I went for Stratforce Red for the gloves. Thanks so much for the support, guys. Thank you for 3,000 subscribers. I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm Aiden, I'm out.